In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix the message that you may have been getting within your Google AdSense dashboard. The message that I'm talking about is this one. And as you can see, it's across the top there. It says, earnings at risk. You need to fix some ads.txt file issues to avoid severe impact to your revenue. Wow, that's quite a scary message, eh? Well, actually it's not that scary and it's really easy to fix. So let's get on the computer, let's get it fixed. Okay, so I'm in my Google AdSense account. Here is the message that uh, we need to fix. This scary message across the top, it says earnings at risk, you need to fix some ads.txt file issues to avoid severe impact to your revenue. Well, it's actually a really easy fix. We click on fix now. It tells me the sites that have been affected. So I basically need to do what I'm about to do to each one of these. So first thing we need to do is download the ads.txt file. It's basically just a little file that sits on your website. It's publicly accessible and it just basically lists the advertising networks that you're authorized to use on your website. Now, if you're running more than one, maybe you're running Ezoic as well as AdSense, then you might need to come up with a custom ads.txt file. But if you're just running um, one advertising network like Google AdSense or like Ezoic on their own, they will provide you with the ads.txt file. But anyway, here is the AdSense one, so let's download it. Click download, I'll save it to my downloads folder. We can have a look at it if you like, I'll just double click on it. And here it is, it just says google.com, which is the ads we're serving, obviously from AdSense. My publisher ID and um, some other stuff, which I'm not quite sure what that is, but never mind. So next we've got to upload it to our website. Really easy to do, let's just go back to the right browser screen. Now what we're gonna do next will vary uh, depending on who your website host is, but the principle's the same. Basically what you wanna do is look for your file manager, so log into your hosting control panel, look for file manager, and then you know using that we can easily upload the ads.txt file. So for example, with cPanel, which I've got here, which is with my old SiteGround hosting account, um, I'm gonna show you the new interface in a second. But with the older interface, and you know, cPanel was used on lots of other hosting companies' is interface. I think that's what I'm trying to say. You know, basically, cPanel is very uh, popular with website hosts. You probably get a screen very similar to this. And then you just scroll down, and what we're looking for is um, File Manager, which is just there. When you click that, it takes you into here. And these are basically all the files that you've got um, on your website. And here yeah, it's very easy to upload and download. With the new um, SiteGround interface, it looks like this. It's a bit cleaner, but again, it's still called File Manager. It's under Site, you go into File Manager, and here you go. And then when you're in your File Manager, and again, this will apply to pretty much all hosting, you really wanna go into your public HTML folder. Uh, that one there. Yep, there we go. Um, because that's where all of your publicly accessible stuff is. So yeah, make sure you upload to the public underscore HTML folder. So I'm gonna do it on this control panel file manager because this is um, bestroofbox.com we're looking at right now. It's a live site, so it's running AdSense and yeah, it needs to be done. So I'm just gonna click Upload. I'm gonna choose my file. There it is, click Open. These permissions are all fine. And I think that's all done. Let's go back. There it is. So on the new one, you'd just come in here and there's like this little upload button here. Again, file upload, get the file. Bing, job's done. And that's it. And obviously you need to do that on every single site that you're running your ads on. Um, but say the, the process will be exactly the same and the file indeed is exactly the same. So good luck with that. And yeah, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you found it useful. Hopefully you fixed that message and your earnings are no longer at risk. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine anyway. If you did get stuck or you've got any questions or comments, leave me a message below in the comment section. I do read all of the comments that I get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, you can do so by clicking on my face. Why not check out my vlog channel, which is up there. And by the way, I've been actually uploading a few videos to it recently, so yeah, go take a look. There are a couple of videos that have been chosen specially for you. I hope you enjoy them. Till next time, bye for now.